Let's uh, talk now to Mark Watts, editor of the investigative website Exaro News, that's been backing the call for an inquiry. You've been investigating this for, 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 for many months. Uh, let's just start with what Theresa May announced today in the Commons. So, does this go far enough? Well, what we heard from Theresa May today was evidence of her having given the whole issue very serious and careful consideration, obviously, with her colleagues. And so far as the statement goes, it does. It's precisely what uh, the original seven MPs were calling for in a joint letter that we broke news of only a month ago. And we've since got about 146 MPs back in that one. Two more now, Theresa May and David Cameron, it seems. Yeah. And it does do, essentially, what's asked for there. But the devil will be in the detail. Uh, and you believe, presumably, that people should be compelled to give evidence and that that should be something vested in the power of the chair? Well, see, that, that's one example where she had clearly given us some thought. I think uh, it's a panel inquiry we're talking about here, not a judicial one. Hills were style. It worked very well for but, Hills. But it could then be elevated. Exactly. Yeah. So the, 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 the panel will, will be able to ask people to come, invite them. They could say no. But if they say no, they'll be embarrassed by that because why are you saying no? We would like you to give evidence. And if necessary, we can elevate this to a public inquiry so we can compel you. And here's the point. This is what's been thought about. Will someone really say no and make the inquiry go through those stages? It would be highly embarrassing before they've even given a jot of evidence. You've been researching, as I say, for, 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 for many months, for years. Um, Peter McKelvey, the former child protection manager, he's given an interview today, the first one for a couple of decades, for 20 years, saying that he believes as many as 20 abusers were involved right at the top of British politics, without, obviously, naming <laughs> names. Um, how... How serious is this, given the sort of people we're talking about at the heart of the British establishment? Well, Tim, we've been investigating this and publishing stories for some two years. And um, I've spent two years not naming people. Very good. Um, All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I hope that will change. Um, I believe that this will prove to be the biggest political scandal in post-war Britain. This will put it beyond cash for questions by quite a long way. It will put it beyond MPs' expenses. It will put it beyond the Profumo affair. I think that this will be uh, an incredibly unsettling and dreadful um, scandal as we learn more about it. Uh, again, without identifying anyone or jigsaw identification, are we looking at people who are still in the public eye, who have been in politics for many years? Uh, yes. Um, I mean, on the whole, um, they're perhaps no longer at the top of politics, typically. Um, I mean, I'm very conscious of what uh, Peter uh, has said. We've obviously spoken to him a lot in the, in the past at Exero. And um, we've been f we, we started off um, with, with Elm Guest House, uh, which was, it was a paedophile brothel. That's what it was. And it was frequented by politicians. Now, you have to be very careful, because it doesn't necessarily mean that if you went there, you were there to abuse boys. Now, we are talking about boys here, but you have some questions to answer if you did frequent the place. Now, an example, I will name one name because it's, it's come out now and, and he's no longer alive anyway, and that's Cyril Smith. There's no doubt. Even, even the Metropolitan Police has confirmed that uh, he was a frequenter of the place and he went there to abuse boys. And or, or, so there's only one boy in particular. And I think... We publish a lot of material on XRO, but you can imagine in this kind of investigation, there's a lot of material we have not published mm. because we're working on it. Mm. And I can only give you my view of where I think this is going. And as I say, I think basically um, what Peter's saying is right. But in view of a, a cover-up, uh, and I'm not sure if you saw uh, Lord Tevis on the Mar programme, Andrew sure. Mar programme yesterday, he thought it was quite possible there could have been a cover-up. But this would have involved collusion with police officers civil servants and politicians all quietly removing the evidence to prevent any criminal investigation. Well, I have to say, I think Lord Tebbit's comments were very telling, really very telling. And, I, and I, I'll make this point. No one should think for a moment that that has changed. What we've seen from Theresa May is a political will, finally from the very top of the government. And clearly David Cameron uh, and, and I think George Osborne would have been involved in deciding how to handle things. And there's been a change. There's been a change since only Thursday of last week. We got hold of a, a letter that uh, Theresa May had written to Zach Goldsmith in which she basically said, I'll think about it. I'm not ruling it out, but not yet. Well, here we are a couple of days later. 
that's a little bit later, but I don't think that's what she meant by later last week. So there's political will now, political realisation, this has to be uncovered. But do not assume for a moment that that is shared everywhere in the establishment. It is not. And there are forces out there right now undermining uh, the efforts to expose this in all sorts of ways. I, uh, just one little example. There are four stories being put out, nonsense stories, which I think are being put out one way or the other in order to eventually be discredited to try to discredit the whole thing. But also some very worried people as well. I think there were going to be some people really looking over their shoulder. Mark Watts uh, from Exaro, thank you um, very much indeed. Uh, just to um, bring you a line uh, regarding Sir Cyril Smith, we've just uh, had this statement from uh, Lord Steele, David uh, Steele, uh, former Liberal leader. Uh, he's insisted his party hadn't heard any rumours at all of any misbehaviour by the late uh, Sir Cyril Smith. Uh, Greater Manchester Police have been now investigating those allegations of child abuse against the former Rochdale MP. Lord Steele put um, Cyril Smith forward for his knighthood. Uh, and have been facing questions about whether he'd been aware about those uh, rumours. He told the House of Lords uh, in the last few minutes no complaints of misbehaviour on his part when a member of the House of Commons, nor even a rumour, reached the Liberal Party.